It wasn't really a different dimension at all. It was just a cat holding up a piece of cardboard. He was like a very big cat. Look at that cutest. Look how cute he is. He's just really big. Sometimes it's just a false alarm. It's okay. It's just a cutout. Cats like boxes. No dimension at all. Just really fat kitty and a piece of cardboard. Simple. This one's really... I don't like the way this cat looks. I try to cut the cute ones out of the magazine, but... Oh! Is there a call-in? No. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, okay. 15 minutes left, you guys. And I have four more psychic readings to do and four more shrink readings to give away. And I just got completely wrapped up in what I was doing, but this is the number you need to call. We have 15 minutes left. If you want that psychic reading, this might be the only time in your life that you get to have that psychic reading. And you may need to hear what I need to tell you from the cards. As all phone psychics say, you know, call this number, change your life, get a shrinky dink necklace, wear it, love it, comes in a Ziploc bag, some cat hair too, toll free. What have you got to lose? 1844 Art Ship, extension 4, operators just standing by. I'm going to just hold this sign. I'm not even going to do anything except hold this sign and wait till someone calls me. <sighs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm going to hold this sign and I'm going to draw a little bit, but I'm waiting. And I know there's people watching. And I know you're shy. It's okay. I know that you will call eventually or you will regret it terribly. Why have regrets? Why? Why would you? When opportunity is right there, we can pick up the phone and just call. Phone Psychic does art, gives away shrinky dinks. When has that ever happened before? It's a brand new year and it's a brand new season of Tharp World, so I thought, why not? You know, there's so many different ways to, to express yourself. And some of those ways might, might be through a psychic reading. I might tell you exactly what you needed to hear that would just change the course of everything. But you wouldn't know unless you called. And that's okay. Or maybe you have this great idea for this piece. Maybe you want this piece. Maybe it wants you. Destiny. Dimensions. Other worlds. Travel. Time travel. Jetpacks. Cats. Psychic cats. Cat gods. Cats in boxes. Other dimensions. Fish exploring other dimensions. Chicken. Clouds. Life's mysteries. There's so much on Tharp World that we discuss, but there's so little time to discuss it all. We only have an hour. And so, and so it goes. So the rain clouds, it starts raining. It starts raining on the cats. Their fur is getting wet. Call, make it stop, you guys. <laughs> Look, the cats are going to get wet. <laughs> They're going to get wet. Look how, sad, look how sad they are. Oh, God, I'm crying. Oh, my God, look. Look what's happening. You can make it stop. <laughs> you can change the world. Obesity is no laughing matter. I'm sorry that I laughed about it. It is the cutest problem that we have. <laughs> it is the cutest problem that we have as, as people, as, as people. But it is no laughing matter. I'll color this cat like an Easter egg because that's what he reminds me of. I'm still holding the sign. Have you noticed? 
I can make the sign do this. I can spin the sign. You know, I can, you know, Verizon or, you know, Pizza Hut. I could, we should just make a big, huge arrow. And then I could just point, point at my phone. Or I just like, put it there. And I'll continue to explore the dimensions through, through positive thought and through the exploration of psychic development. The third eye. God. Third eye. That's what this piece was missing. Guys. Yes, hello, you're on Thark World. Hi, hold on, let me put you on speaker. Yes, hello, who is this? Hello? Dave Higgins. Dave, hey. it's Dave Higgins. Dave Higgins is calling. Hello, Dave, do you have any ideas for this piece? <laughs> I just want... Yes, hello? Uh-oh. Hello? Oh, whoops. There you are. Hello? Wait. Yes. Alright, there you are. Hey, yes. I just want the cat to stop crying. Oh, he I wants the... Like oh my god, he wants the cat to stop crying. I knew it would work. It always works. I will, um, I will turn those tears into tiny little fish that he's slurping up in it with his mouth. Oh, it's fine. He's eating his friends. He's eating his friends. Look at he's... Eating. Oh, he's feeding them, yes. He's, he's slurping them up. They're actually fish, and he's very happy. Look, see, here's some happy. And look at his face. <laughs> look at that, and his eyebrows. Look how cheerful he got. Dave, you oh, saved the day. Look at him, look how happy he is. He's, he's almost, he looks a little manic, actually. He looks a little, he looks gleeful. <laughs> but I, but you know, that's better than sadness. It's better. Yes. Look at that. It's lovely. Oh, oh you yeah. saved the day. You saved it. See, the, oh, the yeah. these in the cat dimension, they actually, they spews fish down instead of rain. You changed everything. Uh, is there any housing? Is there any housing in the cat dimension? housing um the only housing so far is a box and a cat tower and the cat tower um that is small and there's um they can go under the table that's about oh, it okay. do you think i should make another house for them do you think they should have another house mm -hmm. there's another dimension they can go to maybe okay. maybe i should make a door they can go into like an indicating that there's Housing elsewhere. Could be. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's very strange. Because I'm watching and I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> yes. But, yeah. What about what about um, the doorway in the cat that's just below your hand right now? A doorway in inside the cat. Into the cat. He in, want. In the little cat's chest. Yes. Yes, I love the way you think. A doorway into the cat's chest. See, that's why I love artists. You know, they come, they're just... So what I'm going to have to do is take my X-Acto knife and do a little surgery. It's all right. He can't yes, feel it. There you go. He can't feel it. He's fine. He's fine. So what I'm just going to try to see if I can't peel. Looks like it's pretty much on there. Looks like it's pretty much on there. Can't get it. I need, need to use a white. I'm going to need to use the white out. And that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Got some. That's not good. But I have another white. I have another pen. I love this idea. There it is. We're opening up another dimension. So far there's six different dimensions that we've that we've developed here in this world. Let that hang out for just a second. There we go. Okay. Let that dry for a second. Let that dry. Then we'll then we'll put a little bit of perspective in there, showing the other cats that you can actually go through that cat. 
This is getting so strange. I love this piece. I need someone to take it home. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so how do I get a reading? You just ask, my friend. Would you like a psychic reading? Yes, please. Yes, okay. Let's wait if for I that to dry. I know that already. Yes, well, you know, I am an amateur psychic. If I were psychic, I would be probably someplace else right now winning the lottery. <laughs> let's move this, let's move my psychic area over here. So I'm going to do Dave Higgins' psychic reading. So this is for the new year. I'm going to put the phone down for a second while I shuffle the cards. Think of your question, you know, think of your situation. This is just for, you know, the beginning of the year. I'm going to draw three cards for you, just one second. Psychic reading number two. How are we doing on time? Oh my God, five minutes. I'm gonna make it happen. Don't worry. If I go over a little bit, I'll, I'll give you the full reading. Don't worry. And you got a shrinky dink too. Okay. Okay. One more time. And thank you for calling, by the way. It's so great. It's just so great to hear from you guys. Thank you for for your support for watching the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it means a lot. Thanks so much for calling. Okay, so I'll give you a reading here. Dave Higgins. Give Dave's reading. Get the three cards for him. Beginning of the year. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a good one. Very nice. Okay, okay, Dave, you ready? Okay, so so what I'm seeing for you, can you still hear me, are you there? Hello? Okay, so what I'm seeing for you is you have recently been in kind of a, like a very introspective place, almost like a, a place of sort of maybe exploring kind of like spirituality or deepening your mind or maybe meditation or going deeper into the psyche. I'm seeing like the unconscious dreams, like um, kind of exploring the, the deeper realms of the mind. And I'm seeing a lot of hard work, a lot of really good work that you're doing at the beginning of the year. You've got a really nice solid foundation of work that you're doing that's very positive. Uh, there is one thing about, there, there's an, a warning here in this spread about um, taking on too many projects and overdoing it, being too exhausted and to the point where you're like dissipating your creative energy because you've taken on too much and you're too tired. So this spread um, recommends that you um, really pick and choose the things that are most important to you and drop the things that, that could be dropped uh, for the time being so that you don't ex uh, kind of expend the energy that you would want to put towards towards your creative work. I'm just seeing exhaustion and you know over, and being overly tired, overly overly committed. So it, it would be a good thing to to drop some things that you don't feel like, you, you, say you could put off until a little bit later that aren't super necessary right now because the hard work that you're doing is, is in such a good place and the, the unconscious work that's supporting it is so good that I would hate to see that you would be too tired to really go for what you want to do this year because of too many things that you've uh, committed to. And that's Thank what I'm seeing for that reading. Thank you, Allison. Yeah. That's so right on. I can't believe it. It's, it's uncanny. Really? I've got two more minutes. Oh, totally. I'm glad that it, I'm glad that you liked it, and uh, I wish you the best for the new year. I totally keep doing what you're doing, and and, and just, just you know, cut cut the fat and just like go for what what you really love. Go for what's really important, so you don't get too tired. And uh, there, your uh, your shrinky dink is waiting for you. I'm giving you the hot dog. I'm giving you the little hot dog guy. And uh, if you stop by the compound, okay, it'll be at the front desk for you. Okay, I will. I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks, Dave. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year! Okay, that was good. He's like very accurate. That was nice. I should start charging, huh? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She wants her psychic reading. <laughs> you have to call in. You gotta call. You want the reading? You gotta call. Toll free. One eight four four Art Ship Extension four. You want the reading? You gotta call. But you also have to help me with the art, you guys. It's not just the psychic show. We gotta have, we gotta do the art. There's really weird stuff happening 
I love that the cat is no longer crying. I knew that would work. So Mary, if you want, if you want that reading, you gotta call in. Otherwise, you gotta. Or otherwise, just come in. And, you know, I got the cards, and uh, you know, sometimes I read them. You know, sometimes I charge for the readings, but not on Tharp World. On Tharp World, it's free. Well, I mean, you do have to help me out with the, with the piece, but the show is regrettably coming to an end. So I'm going to have to stop for now. This piece is still up for grabs. I may continue to work on it later. I also may just have it here if someone would like to, you know, come by and look at it, perhaps purchase it. It will be for sale here at the compound along with lots of other great art from me and lots of other great artists. So, so happy we did our first, our first episode from this new season and I'm so happy for the people that called. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday on Tharp World here at the compound.